And on the very next page, you have Jonathan Dors described as humanity's lone patriot, speculating that the Talons are influencing members of the judiciary through mind-altering viruses. I know what's in my own website. There are 18 quotations from Mr. Dors in the last two weeks alone, and you say you have absolutely no connection to him? I told you I published an independent electronic journal of opinion. What, is that a crime now? November 12th. Your anonymous author advocates the theft of military hardware for the coming species war. Now, some members of the judiciary would say that is a crime, Miss Hager, as it's... Sandoval! What's going on here? I had to question her quickly and discreetly. She runs an anti-companion website with direct communications with doors. Why don't you tell him how I asked to speak to my lawyer? I told you! If you want to make this an official investigation, that's fine, Miss Hager. Make arrangements to take her to Washington. How can you be sure? A double-blind terminal that can't be traced. 3D, state-of-the-art graphics. Boom. Doors is funding it. Now... If we can locate the webmaster or the server, I'm sure we can trace it back to Doors himself. Whoa, 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 down. Take it easy. Take it easy. You have no right. Any bets whether this is what we're looking for? A location of the terminal and a key to Jonathan Doors. I said I want my lawyer. I said take it easy. Your patron hasn't yet been charged with any crime, Miss Hager. I'm sure Jonathan Doris would welcome the opportunity to clear his good... <laughs> you even realize that? Sandoval. Sandoval! 911! Emergency medevac, my office now! ago they came, forever altering the future of humanity. William Boone's life has been destroyed. A man caught between two worlds, assigned protector to the Companions, undercover agent for the Liberation. An alien implanted cyber virus expands his mind, controlling a bioengineered weapon of unprecedented power. William Boom searches for the truth. Give him 50 milligrams of halodroxin. Now need a complete 3D cranium. Secure patients. Drugs are ready, Doctor. No. Stop. Come on, guys. Stop. What is it? Well, if it's what I'm afraid of, the CVI is breaking down. You said that he was complaining of headaches? Yeah, and there was bleeding from the ear as well. Oh, why didn't he come to me sooner? And lose a moment in service to the companions? <laughs> a lot of good he's gonna do him dead. Ready the uh, ATBI injection. Get me to on. Agent Sandoval's implant is rapidly degenerating. Request permission to administer the anti cyber virus. Proceed, Doctor. anti-cyber virus. Well, I'm going to try to remove the CVI before it overloads the synopsis in the cerebral cortex and kills him. How? You told me that was impossible to remove. Yeah, it probably is. Um, I've been working to develop a hybrid virus that will attack the CVI before it can kill its host. And it works? One simulation, yes. In a real living person, I, I wouldn't even speculate. 
It could take almost 20 hours for the CBI to be completely eradicated. Now, if he survives that without synaptic release, I can uh, implant him with a new CVI. And if you don't put in a new CVI? Well, our once neurological pathways have been realigned by a CVI. They, they won't go back. You can't unfry an egg. So unless I re-implant him, the, uh, the host is most likely going to die. Excuse me. working. It's, it, it's starting to kill the virus. If he survives, he'll be ready for re-implantation by tomorrow morning, uh, noon at the latest. 20 Earth hours. Best estimate, yes. What would be the result if you attempted to implant a new CVI prior to the 20-hour period? Oh, well, that's unclear, but uh, the human brain's a very fragile instrument. Is the antivirus program to attack the CVI currently implanted in Agent Sandoval's brain? Well, yes, but in all my simulations, the antiviruses were allowed to run their full course before we implanted a new CVI. The halodroxin should be wearing off any time now, but he could reseize. Sometime alone with him, please. Boone, remain. Your CVI was breaking down. You had a seizure. CVI? You are putting the companion ahead of me. Your gift. We must excise it in order to replace it. Your confusion will soon be remedied. Boone? It's all right. Don't try to talk. You had a, a, a virus in your brain. It was trying to kill you, and now we're killing it. Captain Boone. Rest now. The clarity that you long for will return when you awaken. His memory appears much impaired. He speaks your name as if seeing you as you once were. Probably just an effect of the drug, but we won't know for certain until tomorrow. Don't worry, I'm sure his memory will return. I worry at just such a prospect. Install the new implant at once. Uh, Don, this could dramatically increase the likelihood of his death. And Boone, tighten your security, please. Under no circumstances must Agent Sandoval be allowed to leave this facility. I thought he was stabilized. Oh, oh Jesus, she's calm. Uh, you want me to get your nerves? Right. What's happening to you? Whoa, whoa, it's Sandoval, Sandoval. Easy, easy. Everybody back. Do as he says. You don't want to do this. You have no idea what I want. You must remain calm, Agent Sandoval. Don't, please, don't. Make no mistake, I will kill you. Don't! Sandoval, your skrill may not even be functional. It's tied into your CVI. Wanna take a risk on a companion, Boone? Huh? Take it easy. Back a few. Move slowly. Weapon up. Take me to the shuttle. No. I swear. I swear, Boone. I will kill Da'an. Think. Remember. It's my duty to protect members of the Talon Synod at all costs. All I want is my freedom. I can't bargain for them. There's no need to take it. 
Al pahalı dışarı. If you leave here, you will die. You know that. I have died. Just like you. Now back up. Back up! I'm proud to have been recruited. Do you realize that? Even if it costs you your marriage. Oh! Go! Go! Subdue him. Antivirus was introduced through the limbic system, where the primary emotions are controlled. Love, anger, fear. And that's where Sandoval's CVI was first attacked. The seat of his motivational imperative. Well, obviously there are extenuating circumstances, but uh, yes. So what now motivates our errant implant doctor? Love, fear, or anger? Does the shuttle have a transponder? You don't remember? Turn it off. And, and your global, Captain. I see your memories are turning. All its glory. Do you have other devices that could betray our position? Simple radar. We've already passed through four air traffic screens minimum. Suggest an evasion. You bluffed your way out, didn't you? Your scroll won't fire. An evasion, Captain. There is a jamming device. Use it. You should be in a hospital bed, not fleeing across the country. You need a new CVI in order to live. Another gift. He shut off the globals and transponder, and we can no longer locate him on radar. He could be anywhere on Earth. But that is not what you believe. No, I believe there is a purpose to his flight. He had a wife. He has a wife. He had her committed to an institution in Reston, Virginia. I am aware of this. Perhaps Agent Sandoval is now being motivated by both love and anger, Doctor. Thank you. The Synod has declared Agent Sandoval a threat to our security. We cannot risk his capture by our enemies. He must be terminated. If we could find him in time, Dr. Bellman may be able to... Do you not understand your order? You. Your wife is here, isn't she? I said put your hands behind you. What are you gonna do, just sign her out like you signed her in? You don't know what you're talking about. You think you can just go in there and make everything all right again? I said shut up! What about the ones you can't bring back? What about Kate Boone? It was you, wasn't it? You had my wife murdered. Sandoval, you're in pain. What reason would your commander have in telling you about Kate Boone's death? You're still thinking like an implant? No.
take some of Sandoval's men with you. Even though his implant is deteriorating, he presents a unique challenge. Sandoval came to us an eager supplicant, while you resisted all of our entreaties. And yet, even without your implant, I somehow do not believe that you would flee us. My wife isn't in an institution. Agent Sandoval. Dr. Sharp, correct? I'm surprised you remember. I, I know what you mean. I've been busy. Uh, how is my wife? It's very hard to evaluate patients on Comexidol. No highs, no lows, practically catatonic, but... Of course, you know that. You ordered her medication. Uh, yes, that's why I'm here, to see her. Uh, where is she, please? She probably doesn't even know you now. She's stable, she's accepted her situation. If you really want to introduce yourself back into All life... Right. Let's make it official, then. A-wing. With your other clients. Agent Sandoval is armed and desperate. His best chance is to maneuver any confrontation into a public environment. Civilian injuries are to be avoided at all costs. Let's alert the sanitarium that we're on our way. What are our force parameters with Sandoval himself? I know that this is difficult. You've all worked very closely with him for a long time. But if Agent Sandoval refuses to surrender, you're authorized to shoot to kill. take you away. Can you understand that? Do you know what I'm saying? It's me. It's Ron. No, wait, wait, listen. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. I've come to take you away, but you have to trust me. You have to believe me. Didi. Didi, we have to go now. There's no time. Do you understand? imprisoned his wife here. The second his CBI came out, I knew he had to come. <sighs> Boone, it's, it's, it's like he's almost human again. There's actually somebody home up there. Yeah, and the irony is the Synod declared him a security threat. Look, if we could turn him... How? He needs a new CVI to live. Bellman can give him a re-engineered CVI like yours. No, it, it doesn't work like... Hang on. But... Hang on. Yeah. There's a disturbance in the building, sir. Fire alarm. Permission to enter in search of the target. Permission granted. If we want him to live, we have to take him back to Da'an to be reimplanted. But you're putting his life back in their box. Would you want to live if that were your only option? All right. All right, don't knock. Keep 
going. That's it. Straight over to the grassy area. In an orderly fashion, relax, you know, no Excuse me. Panic. Come on. We're looking for a federal agent named Ronald Sandoval. He was in a wing with his wife. Is there an exit off that wing? On the east side. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> He's not in there. Go check again. Back up. Slow. Didi, Didi, we have to go now. No! Hey! I'm out here to kill you! I can help you both! What happened, sir? Sir? The shuddering will stop soon. Your body's just going through withdrawal. Just... Just takes a little bit of time. We need to keep you drinking lots of fluids, Dee Dee. It'll help clear the drugs out of your system. Why did you do this? It was the only way I could get you out. Why did you do this to me? You were a threat to them, a rival. And the implant in my mind made me see you that way. You chose them. I believed in them. So did you. We all did. All I cared about was being part of the companions, even more than I cared about you. But I... Didi, I... I never thought I would do this to you. Dee Dee, you were always with me, in my heart. In my mind, it was suppressed, but you were still there. my dissatisfaction to have him in your grasp i underestimated him he still moves and thinks like an implant you should have done as well he's dying Daan. in a matter of hours his cerebral cortex will very likely collapse from the absence of a cvi i don't understand the synod's fears you speak of what you do not know then help me understand The earliest generation of implants were designed with a supplement of information about our Talon race, about our mission here. Sandoval has received this knowledge. And I did not? We have learned through time just how thoroughly the implant directs human motivations. We no longer felt the need to bestow the sense of urgency. I should have this knowledge too, Don. You greet me with your failure, only to appeal for the further blessing of the Synod. I understand. 
It's more important than ever that I return Sandoval to you for reimplantation. Sandoval CBI had additional information about the Talon race and their mission. Daan spoke of an enhanced sense of urgency. So the implication is, the implication is that the Talon race faces some sort of time constraint here. Would this information still be inside of Sandoval's mind, even with the CBI gone? At least partly. That's why they want him silenced so badly. I mean, even Daan. Agent Sandoval. I'd like to speak to your commander. Hello, Sandoval. Hello, Boone. You let me live today. You didn't even fire. Don must want me back very badly. You're sorely missed, especially by the Synod. I can imagine. You don't have much time. You need a new implant to live. No. No. I'm just calling to say goodbye, Boone. I wanted to tell you, for what it's worth, how I regret the death of your wife. Now, that doesn't matter to you anymore. An implant's lack of emotional ties is a gift, isn't it? I almost envy you. Goodbye, Boone. Son of all. Great. Got a position. Let's go. Come on, he's in a public square. Let's get out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. He, he was with his wife. He, he risked everything for her, and now he allows you to trace him? He slipped up. His mind isn't working right. No, no, no. No, he was downloading files during our whole conversation. Oh, <laughs> He used his global to access my computer. I wasn't keeping him talking, he was keeping me talking. What files? The activist data comb. He was downloading the information this morning before his seizure. He was looking for the website terminal. He thought it had ties to doors. He's looking for doors, for sanctuary. He's looking for us. Agitators, anti-companion activists, fools. I'm sure they'll be eager to meet you, too. <laughs> They're means to an end. I can tell them things they'd like to hear, things which can buy you safety. There is no safe place, Ron. We should both have learned that by now. No. No, that's where you're wrong. You'll see. I'll find you sanctuary. Sanctuary? From what? Who do I have to fear now, Ron? If I went back, I'd be the same as I was before. I'd see you the same way as I did. A threat to my imperative. But I'm not going back, Didi. Time I went in. Ron. Bleeding. That's nothing. It happens once in a while.
I'm looking for sanctuary. Stay where you are, Boone. You don't want to kill me. Try me. You don't have it in you anymore. You've got a conscience now. That's taking a big chance. Maybe not for you. Oh, yeah. Dying in the service of the Companion. That's like going to heaven, isn't it? No one's gonna die here, Ron. Stop it! Stop what? You're patronizing me. I know what you're doing. What's that? What's that? You're trying to trap me. Appealing to my humanity as if you had the slightest notion of what that means. You have to understand something about me. No! No, I don't. You have to understand something about me. I am never going back. That's not why I'm here. The hell you're not. Listen to me! Ask yourself why you never trusted me. Ask yourself. Ask yourself why you always thought I was slightly different. It's because I am different. It's because I don't work for the Talons. I work with Jonathan Doors. Against the Talons. I'm offering you a way out of this. We have the resources to hide you and your wife. Why in God's name would you do anything for me after what I did to you? Because you didn't do it. Yes, I did. You want to know something? Your wife is not the only one that I killed. You know things about the An, about the Talons, their mission here. It's the reason they want you dead. Nothing more than you know? That's not true. Da An himself told me. To help ensure loyalty, your generation of implants was given enhanced knowledge. What if I do help you? I can try and talk to Doors and get him to trade you asylum for information. It's not me I'm worried about. I'm, I'm dying. It's Dee Dee. Like I told you before, we can protect her. And we may be able to help you too. I'm, I'm going to need some kind of guarantee. It's not that kind of world anymore. Oh, I can't believe I'm considering this. It's the reason that you came here, isn't it? <laughs> no, no. I mean, considering trusting you. What is this place? It's some kind of safe house. Boone! Talk to me, Boone! Why did they put those on you? It, it's, uh... It's just a monitor. You're dying, aren't you? Without your implant. If you would have stayed with them, you would have lived. Can you still, can you go back? Dee Dee. Dee Dee, I told you I would never do that to you. Never. His hemorrhaging is acute. He has less than an hour to live. That's not enough time to get detailed information. What a waste. Only if he dies. 
Can you save him? Maybe, but only if I implant a fully functioning CDI. And that's what we have to do. What are you, a boy scout? He's killed our people. He's an asset to the Talons, our enemies, remember? I'm not gonna stand here while a man dies in front of our eyes and do nothing. But he didn't want to live as an implant. He made that clear. No, he was worried about his wife. We can deal with that. I don't care about Sandoval or his wife. All I care about is our movement. Our movement? Our movement is about human beings. It isn't worth a damn if we don't respect every human's life. Even a man with an implant. But if we don't do something right now, he's gone. Then let's do something. I'm sorry, Jonathan. I have no choice. I have to go. Help him. Please help him. Dee Dee is dying. I know. There's only one way to save him. There's no guarantee this will work. It'll work. Am I? What's happening? We're re-implanting you with a new CVI. No. No, I can't go back, Lou. Yes, you can. I caught you before you revealed any of the companion secrets. You're getting a second chance. You're a lucky man, Agent Sam. No, no, I promised Dee Dee. I prom I can't put her in danger again, Boone. Shh, 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 shh. I took care of that problem for you. I assure you she felt no pain. I am most pleased with your return to the Companions. Thank you, Boone. For doing for me what I once did for you. As you told me, we're not cut out for love. Not anymore. Plane tickets. Three destinations. I want you to take all of them. That way even we don't know where you are. Thank you. Complete identification. And uh, this, is, this is the details of your new identity. I want you to memorize this and then destroy it. I know you don't understand. To you, he's just the enemy. But he needed me. I loved him. I have a few things I need to say to you. I always mistrusted you from the day we recruited you, but the way you handled my situation was nothing short of exceptional. It's easy when you're doing something you believe in. I've been trying to think of a way to show my gratitude. <laughs> I could see in your eyes how desperately you wanted to know what I know about the companions. Only to serve them better. 
You've proven your value beyond all doubt, Boone. And I don't want you to feel in any way inferior to me. I know that we think of them as all-powerful, omnipotent. And compared to us, yes, they are. But in a broader sense, they're not. They need us as desperately as we need them, Boone. Why? It wasn't revealed to me. Are they at risk somehow? Are they dying? I don't know. At least not anymore. What I do know is that the fates of our two races are intertwined. Without them, we're doomed. Without us, they're doomed. This I know with all certainty. Why the need for secrecy? The Synod has its reasons. I wish I could tell Doors and his people the truth. To destroy the Companions is to destroy us. Again, thank you.